why can't there be art that just allows you to just breathe a little bit and yeah. you feel like just like back to your, when you were a kid, you know, like the yeah. childlike wonder, which is yeah. what we feel when we make art as well. Yes. Hi, I'm Estella. And I'm Lee Chuan. And we're Ripple Root, and we make art together. Ripple, uh, Ripple is Estella. <laughs> And I'm rude. That's how we sign every painting. But I guess we didn't really think we'd be like doing so many murals. It was kind of almost by accident when um, our former client, he brought us to this like deserted alleyway and was like, how do you guys feel about like putting your art here? And we were like, sure, sure. let's do it. That was an adventure in itself. And then yeah. it just like led to more. How we began was also because of a cannot, right? The biggest Aya cannot one lao started even before we were Ripple Root during the SG50 year. Where I guess everyone wanted to find something that could celebrate Singapore, right? And all there was was like Malayan, and like we just didn't want to be like super cliche about it. So because I live near the mangrove swamp, right? And then we started looking a lot at the history of that, and we, we found it so rich, right? Because the earliest inhabitants of Singapore were Orang Lao, they used to forage in the swamp. Yep. So we pitched this idea to our then bosses to like maybe create designs. Like a whole collection based on this. And that's when they said, Cannot! Because right now, we need something that's very Scandinavian Japanese. Or something that was a lot more modern. We were like, let's just do it anyways. Like, whether or not, like, whatever happens. Yeah. Like, so we just met up every single week. And or even after hours, after work, you come back to my place. We and were we... painting mud skippers. Just everything we wanted to do that we couldn't. So Estella had this brilliant idea. We had enough work. work. And we were like, let's, let's have, have a show. Let's have an exhibition. And then from that show, like, we saw a lot of the pieces yeah. that gave us a bit more confidence to realise that people actually saw something in this style as well. Yeah. And then I think it's only because of this project that it really pushed us to create our own art style yeah. and make art together. We like to capture joy and like the spirit of being free. Honestly, when we make, we have so much fun that yeah. like, it was just genuinely what we wanted to like, yeah. put through. So one of our earliest um, murals is at Kyong Sia. Yeah. And on one side, it's very sort of pastel -y and it had a lot of like pranaka and elements yeah. and then the other side was very like graphic um, brand elements of the working capital which is the co-working space that commissioned us yeah we also have Tanjong Paga and that one's very I guess rooted in the history of the place so it's an, yeah. like a nutmeg plantation back in the day actually just recently where Sotheby saw so our show at Young Gallery and then they picked a piece for an online auction and Kind of the first time they were doing this and we were the youngest artists that they picked. And they auctioned it off in Hong Kong. To like a UK buyer. I feel like if I didn't meet him, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. And, and I think it's like when you meet the right partners, people who support it and not bring you down. Like I think if she has fears or she has doubts, I'll be there telling yeah. her, it's fine, it's fine, can one love. For a moment of cannot, there's yeah. like, there's, there's more sure. There are more that. opportunities of can. Here's our advice to anyone that's trying to pursue their passion. Believe in yourself. And if you're not going to do it, someone else will do it. So we might as well just do it. Yeah.